I grew up in Price, Utah. My dad was the volleyball coach at College of Eastern Utah at the time. I grew up with two older brothers and was very much a tomboy and wanted to compete with all the boys all the time. Sports was a big part of my childhood. So in Arizona, I did long jump, triple jump, shot put, and 100 hurdles. And then when I moved to Utah, they didn't have triple jump, but they had jabs, so I swapped those. She's such a great athlete that it's, it translates to the volleyball court with her quickness. Um, things we look for in a back row player are quickness, fearlessness, and good eye work, and so she has those things, and I think playing other sports can help develop those traits. We first heard about Sid in the fall of 2016, and she was playing at Snow College. I never in my wildest dreams thought BYU would even look at me. We saw her video and liked her athleticism, and liked her energy on video, so we drove out to Ephraim and got to see Sid in person and really uh, liked, you know, the, the stuff we saw on video is the same stuff we saw in person, but better. Just a good leader, she was vocal, she worked hard, and she was a good volleyball player. They said, hey, you might have an opportunity here, and it was like, I was shell-shocked. I was like, whoa, I better slow down, think about this. I think it came down just the amazing school, the amazing opportunity academically, and the amazing team that I'd be a part of, the amazing coaches, and then, of course, I was close to my family, so it just, it had everything that I needed. She's just this, this compacted ball of muscle and energy, and so I'm not surprised that she was you know, great in track and in basketball. It's definitely been rewarding, and coming off of losing in Sweet, Sweet 16 last year, we knew that we had our eyes set on our goal, and we've just kept our eyes there and kept working, putting our head down and worked hard. So it's been rewarding, fun, and it just makes us want to keep playing and keep getting better.